small advance party of Malayan security forces sets in motion a new operation against the Red terrorists. Their job is to clear a small landing area for helicopters so that a large body of troops may be flown in before the enemy can escape deeper into the jungle. Back at base, the copters are got ready for the job. A brigade of Gurkhas waits to climb aboard. Each man carries sufficient rations for a week. The helicopters, which are American-built, are flown by Royal Navy pilots, all trained to put them down on a sixpence if need be. The pilot gets the OK, and there's the first away. Quickly, the other aircraft are airborne. Helicopters have become an almost essential part of the Malayan campaign. This is the sort of country that can hinder ground troops for months, but by air, it need be only a matter of hours or even minutes before they can come to grips with the enemy, hiding in the thick forest below. Down comes the first copter into the clearing made by the advance party. As fast as they can, the Gurkhas tumble out so that the plane can return for more. In they come, one after another, like a bus service. Working to schedule, only one minute is allowed between touchdown and takeoff. Back to base fly the copters across the worst battlefield in the world, the heart of the Malayan jungle. 